Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Critters in Charge. How's everybody doing today? Awesome. Well, my name is Alex. This is Bentley. Bentley's a Chihuahua mix that we rescued from a shelter in San Diego, California. He's one of over 50 adopted animals that call critters in their home. Here at the end, they receive five-star care. From top-notch veterinary care to excellent diets, plenty of exercise, most importantly, lots and lots of love and affection. It's our hope that by seeing how amazing our adopted animals are, that it might inspire some of you to check in with your local animal shelters the next time you're looking for a pet that could become the star of your family. Well, these guys are true stars and they love hearing your applause out there. So if you see anything you like during the show, feel free to clap and cheer as loud as you can. They really enjoy it. Well, here at Critters Inn, we work hard every day to help make the world a better place for all animals. Oh, hey, Alex. Don't mind me. I'm just going to start cleaning the lobby. Oh, that reminds me. Bentley, we've got a lot of work to do. You better go get ready. Bentley, here. Bentley, here. I'm going to go this way. What? You're not even going to stay and help? checking in today. It is a couple of the animal ambassadors from right here at Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. I can't wait to meet them. Me too. Now I'm going to make sure that everything is ready, so I'll be in my office if you need me for anything. And Kelly, guests have started checking out, so go ahead and start cleaning those rooms. Yes, sir. Oh, hey there! I hope you enjoyed your stay with us. 
and I hope we'll see you again sometime very soon. Bye! <coughs> Chester, what are you doing out here? Did you finish your morning chores yet? Chester, those chores need to get done. Chester. <laughs> what are you up to? Why don't we try that one more time? Let me reset that one more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chester's got some watering of the plants he needs to do, so we're going to give him a chance to do that. Now we train all of our animals using a method called positive reinforcement, which means when they do something right, they get some kind of a fun reward. So we're going to get Chester to complete his behavior, and then he's going to get those fun rewards backstage from his trainers. All right, let's see how he does. You ready to do your chores? I need you to water the plants, remember? Oh, that's not what I meant when I asked you to water the plants. Really, Chester? We talked about this. Outside, come on. <laughs> oh, hey there, Teddy. Where are you going, Teddy? Oh, you, did you have another late night? Well, your penthouse is ready for you. Right over here, Teddy. This is the way up to the penthouse. There you go. I'm sure you could use a cat nap right about now. <laughs> Good job, there you go. Let's do another checkout we have to do. Oh. Hello. You guys checking out so soon? Yep. Well, they look like they know where they're going. They must be parked in our parking lot. <laughs> Tell her I could have helped you with your bag. I guess he's got it. Okay, good job. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Woo! Okay, this room is clean. What's next? Looks like room 102 is checking out today as well. Why don't you go ahead and tackle that one while you're here? Okay, I'll get right on it. Oh no, this room's a pig sty. Okay, guess I better get to work. Good luck. We've got some check-ins today as well. Oh. Oh, hello there, Ellie. Checking in? That's fantastic. I've got your room key right here. You'll be in 101, which is right this way. Oh, watch out, you two. There's my pain up there. <laughs> Woo! What a task. Okay, it's clean. It's ready now. Thanks, Kelly. I'll see you at the celebration later. Okay, see you later. Bye. We got a couple more check-ins going on today. We had Ellie was in 101. We have a check-in for 102 as well. Oh, hello there, Silver. Checking in. Oh, that's great. Um, I've got your room key right here. You're in 102. It just became available. There you go. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Our special guests have just arrived, Alex. Have you had your lunch yet? I haven't. Well, why don't you go get ready for that and I will greet our guests. Okay. Well, hello and welcome to Critters Inn. You must be Chanel, one of the incredible zookeepers from right here at Bush Gardens, Tampa. Well, hello. Yes, my name is Chanel and I work with our awesome animal ambassadors. And who is this? Well, this is Rainbow. Rainbow is a harlequin macaw. Oh, well, hello, Rainbow. Can you say hello, Rainbow? Oh, <laughs> now uh, she answered you when you asked her the question. Can uh, Rainbow actually talk? Can I have a conversation with her? Well, no, unfortunately she doesn't know what she's saying. She mimics, so in the wild she's gonna mimic lots of different sounds. She's gonna be very loud so she can talk to large flocks. Here at Bush Gardens, she actually um, says a few words like you just heard, but she has been working on her song for the conservation party tonight. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Rainbow, can you sing your song? Very good. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Still working on the rest of that song. <laughs> now, you did say out in the wild. Where uh, do these guys typically live? So, macaws are typically found in Central and South America, oh. and they live in the rainforest. Wow, fantastic. Hello. hello, and welcome to Critters Inn. What is your name? I'm Jen. Well, hello, Jen, and who is this? This is Biggie. He's an Aldabra tortoise. An Aldabra tortoise. Now, I thought tortoises got much bigger. Is uh, he just a little baby? So he is. He's about four years old and only weighs, oh, lovely, only weighs about four pounds. Um, these guys can get up to 700 Surprise. pounds um, and over 150 years old. Wow, 150 years old and 700 pounds. Now, I always get confused. What is the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? 
Um, so the best way to tell them apart is a tur tortoise, excuse me, is going to have uh, stumpy feet like Viggy here, and um, that helps them walk on land, and then a turtle is going to have webbed feet that help them swim in the water. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, I know that they come from different habitats, and uh, the habitats all across the globe are endangered. Um, do both of these guys suffer from fear of losing their habitat? Absolutely, yes. Both of these species will suffer from habitat loss. Buildings will be built in their natural habitats, and they'll be pushed out, unfortunately. What could we do to help that? The best thing we can do is buy sustainably resourced wood products and also shopping at your local farmer's market. All right, fantastic. Now we'll go ahead and let you go get ready for the celebration. I have a feeling it'll take him a little while to get ready. Is there anywhere else around the park that we can learn about some of the other animal ambassadors or conservation? Yes, absolutely. These animals live over at Animal Connections over in the Nairobi area across from the train station. Wonderful. Now I do have you down in our presidential suite while staying with us. So here is your room key. The elevators are right behind you. We'll let you go get settled in and we'll see you later for the celebration. Thank you. Can't wait. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
way to celebrate conservation than by letting these animals show off and do what they do best. Take it away, Dottie!